Good happy Sunday morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Riley King, and welcome to Riley's Kingdom of Weather. Let's begin. We have a lot of weather to talk about this morning, so let's get started with a look at our radar. And here is a live look at that radar for you this morning. As you see on radar, we're seeing the snow and rain slowly making its way in New Hampshire in the mixing as well. So it's going to be a messy day out there today. So if you don't need to go anywhere today, just stay home where you can watch it from the window. Now let's talk about your weather right now for today and for tonight. Your weather, right, your weather right now is broken clouds, 32 degrees. For today, a wintry mix to start, then changing to rain, highs in the mid-30s. For tonight, mostly cloudy skies, low 31 degrees, winds northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And now let's take a look at your current temperature across New Hampshire right now. And here's a look at those current temperatures across New Hampshire right now. Keene, 33 degrees. Jaffrey, 31 degrees. Nashua, 34 degrees. Manchester, 34 degrees. Portsmouth, 35 degrees. Rochester, 32 degrees. Concord, 32 degrees. Laconia, 31 degrees, Lebanon, 34 degrees, Plymouth, 31 degrees, Mount Washington, 18 degrees, Whitefield, 32 degrees, and Berlin, 25 degrees. Winter storm to bring snow, wintry mix today. Let's take a listen to the video from meteorologist Hilary LaPointe. Good Saturday evening, everybody. I'm meteorologist Haley LaPointe. Here's a look at your updated forecast. Hey, today was a pretty pleasant winter day. Temperatures in southern New Hampshire didn't feel wintry. We got up above 50 degrees in many locations with sun. Then clouds filled in. It's actually part of a storm system to the south of us here. Some heavy rain moving through New York City and uh, southern New England here will not impact us. It's actually this system out in the Plains states, Midwest, that's moving closer to us at this hour. And eventually we're going to get some snow and then a little bit of a wintry mix with this next storm system too. What's happening is this warm front here is going to lift up into the area. But with the arrival time of this system being tomorrow morning, when of course it's coldest and our temperatures will be below freezing, we'll at least initially start as snow everywhere. We'll do some accumulating. And then as the warmer air starts to move in up in the cloud level, That'll change over the snow to a bit of rain, but the cold air gets locked in at the surface. So that means there will be a time where we'll likely get some freezing rain, maybe even some sleet, a nasty, sloppy mix on top of the snow that has already fallen. So here's what's going to happen. This is 8 o'clock tonight. If you have plans to go out to eat or go out to a movie, no problems. It will actually be clear for a time before the clouds race back in after midnight as that storm approaches. Here we go at 7 a.m. Sunday morning, and the snow is starting to fly, especially in southwestern New Hampshire, and all of this overspreads the state. By about 10 a.m., everybody should have the snow flying. Light to moderate. It picks up pretty quickly in this time frame. And look at the temperatures. We're very close to freezing, so it will be that wetter, pastier snow. 
But then watch what happens once we get beyond 10 a.m. The temperatures do start to warm up a little bit into the mid-30s in a lot of these southern areas, and that's where we'll get some of that mixing happening, maybe some sleet, some freezing rain, and that even goes up into the Connecticut River Valley too. So that's where we could get some of that nasty mixing and even changing over to plain rain in southeastern New Hampshire, which of course will severely limit any additional snow accumulation. The whole system moves out by late Sunday night. Look at this, by Monday, we are back to full sunshine. So here's the snow and sleet forecast. So in that pink area, that's where we would get the most snow. So that includes places like Bolin, Conway, the Mount Washington Valley, the Lakes region, and down into uh, Claremont, just to the north of Keene, three to six inches there. Then two to four inches for places like Concord, Rochester, Manchester, and then we change over to rain. Much lesser amounts, maybe a trace to two inches for southeastern portions of the state because you just won't be snow long enough to accumulate. Okay, and there you go. How much snow we'll be getting. And we have a weather alert for you. Rockingham County. Winter weather advisory. Winter weather advisory remains in effect until 4 p.m. this afternoon. What? Mixed precipitation expected, plan on slippery road conditions, total snow accumulations of 4 to 6 inches, and ice accumulations of a light glaze are expected, where portions of central, northern, and southern New Hampshire and southwest Maine when until 4 p.m. this afternoon. Additional details, be prepared for reduced visibility at times. Precautionary slash preparedness action. A winter weather advisory means that periods of snow, sleet, or freezing rain will cause travel difficulties. Be prepared for slippery roads and limited visibility. And here's caution while driving. And we have a list of closings and Delays this morning. Let's take a look at that list. And here's a look at that list. Some churches are closed today due to the weather conditions. And if you want to see that complete list, you can go to gubbymira.com. And here's a look at your next seven day forecast. Sunday for today, winter remix, 35 degrees. Monday, sun and milder, 51 degrees. Tuesday, sunny skies, 49 degrees. Wednesday, sun slash clouds, showers in the north, 47 degrees. Thursday, sun to clouds, night mix, 44 degrees. Friday, chance of mixed showers, 41 degrees. And Saturday, clouds to some sun, 45 degrees. And that does it for Riley's Kingdom of Weather right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. I'll be back later on today for another weathercast, and I'll have a weather chat later on this morning. Goodbye, everyone.